Hello everybody, Seal here, and as you can probably see by the screen, we now have DLC for Darkest Dungeon. You know what DLC it is? It's all of them. We have the Crimson Court, and this will be the Court of Red Moon's playthrough. We are going to be playing through this game on normal difficulty with the court enabled. I did start over. I want to start fresh for this, as which, as with most roguelikes, I feel that now that I have a better understanding for the game, starting over with a fresh file is for the best. I'll be able to progress much faster in theory. I'm super excited. I had to fight with the last 30 minutes to get this to work. I've already recorded this video, but the DLC wasn't finished installing, and I had no way of knowing that it wasn't done installing. It was a mess. Oh, I'm excited though, guys. So each each video is going to be a week. Some videos, again, are going to be much shorter. Some videos are going to be much longer. I'm going to try to upload two videos a day for the next little while, at least. Um, I'm recording the first sort of clump together today on Sunday, and then I'm going to schedule them to upload throughout the week while I'm busy doing other things. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Redemption. Oh, the chills, they go through my body and they're sexy. With the stage, stage coach destroyed and the caretaker gone, you will have to make the journey to the hamlet on foot. Which means killing yourself some bandits, yo. Space bear. Alright, let's bam, rename. Bam, 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 bam. Where are you? Give me your name. Give me your name. Oh, edit. We got Sparhawk. And Silk. Alright, let's go. Escape? Yep, that'll work. Brigands, Brigands have the run of these lanes. Keep to the side path. The hamlet is just ahead. Fight. I should really let that guy read the lines, because he's way better than I am. It's just they're so epic that I can't help but like being hyped and wanting to say them with a miss you bitch good kill oof that was a lot of money all right so yeah this is different on stitching this is a different encounter on Stygian. They don't give you a chance to get anything there. It's it's this tree like with a hangman's noose and a ghost pointing at you and if you interact with it you automatically afflict Let's go with the tracking shot. Let's get our buff for the fight. And then let's go for the stun on the big guy. Nope, a 50% stun and we missed it. Fail. Good, that wasn't a big hit. He takes a speed debuff for that. That's awesome. Damn, I was really hoping that would one shot. Oh my god, I'm losing these coin flips terribly. But then we do a double dodge, so it's like really hard to be upset. Oh, he would dodge it. I, I go for the greedy play. I try to get the AoE damage in. How are you moving faster than my knight? With a negative one speed. That's what I want to know. Like, he has speed negative one. My knight has a speed of one, and he's moving before me. This is bullshit. Mm, there's the debuff. There's the kill, finally. Smack. Let's go for the open vein. Go for the kill. No, not enough. He's still going first. At least now his speed ties mine, and it makes a little sense. A little sense. We found a key. I think that's like the only way to open this without having it go off. Holy shit. I've ne Wow. I've never had that happen before. I got a key in there. Holy shit. That's supposed to be like really rare, I think. 
All right, so let's just take a look at what we got. Anything good? Nothing. All right, well, nothing's better than something bad, I guess. So we have Sparhawk and Silk. Welcome it's home, pretty good. Such as it is. This squalid Ooh. Hamlet, these corrupted Locked. Lands. All right. They are yours now. Let's and just get these uh, exclamation points out of the way because they'll drive me insane. In time, you will know the take, take. I want my failings. both of these. Let's go for the upgrade. Most will end up here, covered in the poisoned earth. Because this, this upgrade is very important to get first, in my opinion. Alright, well, that's the first video, and as you can see, we have the courtyard. I'm very excited, guys. I'll be back in the next video. Again, some of my videos are going to be short. Um, this one itself being only like five minutes long. I... Oh, fuck it. That won't count. We'll do our, we'll do our first, we'll do our first actual mission. Oh, wait, no. We actually, we actually need to put these guys down here. Uh, the usual suspects. We got bleed at a negative speed. And we got move resist at a negative speed. Alright. We shouldn't need those, honestly, but, I mean, I'm not gonna not use them. The Seems like a sort of bitch thing to do. Later. Uh, we're gonna go in dark life. for this. Uh, we are in the ruins, which has some bleed. Just in case we come up across an alchemy table. I think that should be it. I think that should be all we need. I think it's probably more than what we need, to be honest. Um, but I don't think we need Laudanum. I don't think there's anything at level zero that can give us horror. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the uh, Doomsayer guys don't show up until you're level one at least. Possibly level two. I don't know. We are going to explore 100% of these. Do we do it immediately in the dark or not though? No, we'll let the torch go down naturally I think. Just in case there's a fight in this first corridor. Uh, we're not going to backtrack all the way down here, so we might as well take and use that. Right. The of we don't want it taking up a space in our inventory slot either way. There we go. There's a fight. I'm excited. First fight. First actual fight of the DLC. Let's do that. Let's go for the judgment. Wow, our roll on her is terrible. I didn't know she could roll where she doesn't have her stun and everything. Like, she is actual hot garbage. 1200 gold though. Hold up. Let me see exactly what she has. Quick draw and Thanatophobia. I believe that is something to get rid of. Yeah. Quick draw plus 4 speed on the first round. It's not terrible. Clumsy is terrible. Faithless is fine. That's good. That's actually, those are both really good, but clumsy I'd, I'd like to get rid of. It's unlocked. No reason to use a key. Let's keep going. Good thing I brought those shovels, man. I don't, I think three shovels might have been overkill, honestly. Alright, so... We got that surprise round, which is real sexy, because we want to kill her before she has a chance to act. Because we don't have any stress heal with this crew. At all. As the fiend falls, falls of the fiend hope, hope blossoms. blossoms. Alright, one of them's going to get to act, but that shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, the dodge. The dodge, though, you're actually getting a bonus to dodge. Continually onslaught. So are you. Oh, it's the light level. Yeah, we're not gonna have that around for all that off much. For not that much longer, to be honest. All right, let's go this way. No, he's gonna steal it. I mean, all right, it was only 100 gold. Where our light's starting to get lower and the loot is going up, that could have been really annoying for us. If he stole something really good there. That's exciting. 
We want to start upgrading our shenanigans as fast as possible. Damn. However, that shouldn't be too much stress since she helped put our torch out, so I'll take it. Oh, Silk, come on, man. No, this is not going to be enough. Alright, this fight is not going well. Silk is going to get slammed. I'm not going to name people till they survive one mission, I think. I think that's what I'm going to hold off. So once these two manage to survive this, I'll deem them worthy of a name. Good kill. Good heal. And Silk should probably land the one shot. Oh, so close. So close. That was a really bad roll for him. I'll take four crests any day of the week. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got now? Wow, four deeds. That's sexy. So I've been away all weekend. Sorry I haven't been streaming, but I've been away. I have a relative who's very dear to me. He was passing away from cancer. He's fought it off twice, and the third time he just he just can't do it. And normally the I, I'm not very close with people in my family. That sounds terrible. It's not like I hate people in my family for the most part I'm just not close with them because when I was very young I moved away and I think it's perfectly understandable that you know that I'm not all that close with them because of that and other reasons I just don't get along with a lot of them oh Jesus this fights really bad for us But uh, this this one particular relative is like the one relative I've always been like very close with, and he's dying, and it's it's terrible. So we went down and we recorded the parade in his hometown. My uncle's a very very huge patriot. He uh, He's, he's a huge patriot. He spent 42 years in the infantry. Um, he worked all his way all the way up to Major. I think. I don't think he was a higher rank than that. And, like, I mean, he, uh, he wanted to be there for the parade, but he had to go into palliative care, which is awful, because he went out of his way and made it so that every house in his little town village where he lived could have a Canadian flag. He paid for them, had them delivered, and again, as a veteran, he's huge in the local legion. That, that fucking sucks. Um... In fact, the, the, after the parade, we saw some people from the Legion later, and they uh, they said that they're actually going to be holding sort of a year, or a day, uh, in honor of my uncle, once a year, every year. It's going to be a day dedicated to him at the Legion, for people to come to the Legion, you know, maybe, I don't know, eat some free food do something a, a day commemorating him and all of his contributions uh, to Canada as a whole and some of the larger cities nearby are getting in on it as well again my, my uncle was in the army for a very long time and met a lot of very important people in sort of the happenstance of his service he's he's lived a life oh for fuck's sake everyone is going to die Like, I mean, in real life, probably, but I mean, in this game, for sure. Like, everyone's gonna get negative perks, everyone's just, this is gonna crit. Nah, told ya. 
Fuck you, game, and your predictable bullshit. Oh, he's dead. At the very of oblivion. But no. So we went down and saw my uncle and... You know, just talked to him and dealt with some family shit that, you know, you have to deal with when someone's passing away. He's dead. No, he lived. Oh, fuck. He's gonna live through that and get to attack. Yeah, but again, this... Yeah, he's dead. And that's why we didn't name him. Because he was a useless piece of shit. And I'm, I'm making bad plays now because I'm just honestly just tilted off the face of the fucking planet. And so, I mean, it wasn't like a good trip. It wasn't a bad trip. I mean, it, it wasn't like, you know, it was terrible to be there and see other relatives. It's just the whole concept of the trip wasn't something that was good. So, you know, that, that sort of puts a damper on the trip when the whole point of the trip is to say goodbye to the one relative I'm like extremely close to and when I say extremely close it's not like we spend every day together I mean he spent most of his life abroad with the army right it's not like he was around all the time it was just he was just I don't know he was the perfect relative so too will resistance. in a lot of ways a father figure when my father figure was a drunken asshole a lot of the times on, the, on occasion I mean I, I my father was there financially for me when I was growing up all negatives yeah that needs to go that's fine that's fine that's actually really good it's just I'm not close again with most of my relatives, and I'm very close with this one in, like, a personal way. Yeah, I know. He's dead. He's a useless piece of shit. Oh, uh, we got a Houndmaster. That's actually amazing. Uh, she did technically survive this. But I assume she's just gonna die. So we're going to name her that. Alright, well everyone, our one healer is extremely stressed. And the two people who aren't stressed are, you know, the people who we don't absolutely need to take with us. What is this debuff? Yeah, it's, it's a thing. Alright, so we're able to do Ruins Level 1. We'll be back next time to deal with that.